Hey guys, today I will be making a gorgeous Christmas wreath. What you will need, I have a 14 inch wreath ring that has the Chanel stems attached, but I'll link the video on how to use a regular wreath ring and attach your own Chanel stems if you would like to do that. I have this gorgeous 21 inch gold deco mesh, two rolls, and then I thought this was so cute. It's like burlap, but it's like gold infused and gold trim. So I have a few rolls of that. And I do have gold deco mesh as well, the shorter six inch deco mesh. Have these really cute bells. Some gold glitter pine cones. And this really pretty like sheer gold ribbon. And it's like two and a half inches in width. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to use the pine cones and the bells or which I'm going to use I just wanted to have everything here and then as I go I'll see exactly the way I would like to to decorate it but you can add whatever you'd like if you have any other like embellishments definitely add them on alright let's get started so first thing we're going to do is um, place our 21 inch deco mesh I'm just lifting all of my stems it makes the process smoother Alright, so I have them all raised. I'm going to take my deco mesh and I'm going to layer one roll on top of the other. Now you can, I have gold for both rolls, but you can definitely use like a white or you can just do one layer. I just like to do two because it makes it thicker, but I mean, you can do it whichever way you prefer. If you want to add in another color, definitely just have fun with it and make it your own. I have the two layered on top of each other. I'm just going to curl it inward to make a nice little point like this. And I'm just going to start on the outer stem. Place it down and twist it a couple of times. I don't want to twist it too many times because I will be untwisting to add more of my ribbon and my other embellishments. Alright, so then you just pull it together, just like this, to make a nice little poof. Go to the next stem, and do the exact same thing. So we are just going to do this all the way around the outer ring, and then do the exact same thing on the inner ring. Okay, so I've made it back around to my starting point, so I'm just going to unravel this one, place the loop, and then twist it back. And I'm just going to cut it. Just like that. I'm going to flare out all of my poofs. For the inner ring, I'm just going to use one roll. I have curled, well pretty much it curls itself to a nice point. And I'm just going to pick a stem and place it down. Now you won't be able to uh, really tell the difference since we made the outer layer so thick and poofy. And this is just a way to, to save on your deco mesh so you're not using so much of it, especially if it's uh, the really expensive deco mesh or if it's like deco mesh that you don't have enough of then this is a good way to kind of save on that and I'm just going to repeat the steps that I did on the outer ring I'm just cutting the end of the deco mesh off of the roll. My final poof. 
unravel my starting point, place it down, and then twist it back. And just cut away the excess. Fluffing out all of my poofs because I love for it to look nice and poofy. You can even separate the one, the outer ring, which is double layered if you choose, but I'm going to leave it together. There we go. So poofy. Now I'm going to add my, my gold trimmed burlap and my deco mesh. I have cut both into eight inch long pieces. One piece of my burlap, two pieces of my deco mesh, and one piece of ribbon. Again, these are all 8 inches in length, and I'm going to make it a bundle and attach it to my stem. So, I'm going to curl it at a diagonal. You could definitely do a, a curl, but it will be smaller, but making it at a, curling it at a diagonal just makes it larger and it stands out more. So, I have my deco mesh. I'm going to curl my burlap. Curl the next piece of deco mesh. And I'm like crisscrossing everything. And then placing the ribbon right on top. Then I'm just going to scrunch it all together. Find the stem, unravel it, place my bundle down, and twist it back. So I'm going to continue doing this to all of my stems. I believe there's like 17 or 18 stems. So I've cut accordingly the amount of ribbon. Of course I will need twice as much deco mesh because I'm putting two pieces on each stem. And then so 17 or 18 pieces of the burlap, 17 or 18 pieces of the ribbon, and then 34 to 36 pieces of the deco mesh. <laughs> So I have all the bundles in place in each of my stems. I'm just fluffing everything up, making sure everything is nice and visible. It looks so cute and poofy. Gosh, it's so huge, but I love it. Now for the finishing touch. Remember I have bells and pine cones. And I think after looking at it, I've decided on the pine cones, but I mean the bells are cute too. See, that's what the bells look like. And I don't know, the pine cones just kind of stood out to me more and I love them with the, with the burlap accent. So I think I'm going to go with the pine cones. You could definitely hot glue them in place, but I couldn't bring myself to do that because they're just so cute. I don't want to destroy them by gluing them down. So I'm going to tuck my stem because I'm not going to add anything else to it. And I actually decided to go with floral wire because it's really thin and it's very bendable, flexible. So I'm going to take a pine cone, take the floral wire, and like thread it through. And this is about maybe five inch long piece of floral wire. But you thread it through and then twist it together. Like that. Then I'm going to go to my stem and I'm going to just twist it in place. Again, if you don't care, you can just you know, hot glue it in place, but also with it being a pine cone, I think this way it will be a little more secure. Turn it over so you see here's my stem at the back. I'm just going to twist it together. Just like that and just tuck it away. There you go. So precious. So I'm going to do this all the way around my, my wreath. You can add two to each section. You can do every other section. Just modify it to fit your need and you could definitely use more floral wire if you want to have a more in the back to help twist it but I use as least as possible so that I don't um, waste all of my wire take about a six inch long piece five or six inches thread it through and twist it a couple of times and then take your floral wire place it on top 
and we are just going to twist it in place. You don't have to tie it all the way to the back of the ring if you choose not to. You can just tie it underneath the bundle because that'll be pretty secure itself. So just like that. Completely up to you. And it also depends on how much floral wire you use. Alright, so I have gotten all of the pine cones in place. It looks so cute and adorable. Um, I was going to go with every other stem, but I just decided to go ahead and place pine cones on every stem. So cute. You could finish here. You can put an adorable sign in the center. You can add a nice bow. I think I'm going to add a really cute bow and then I will be completely done. So this bow is actually about 15 inches in width. And I will link the video on how I made this bow in the description box down below. And also at the end of this video. But it's so cute. I have bow wire that I left attached to the bow. So you can add any type of uh, embellishments you'd like to your bow. Since we did use pine cones for the wreath, I think I'm going to add a couple of pine cones to the center of my bow. Just for a little extra flair. But you can leave it just like this and add it as well. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to bring my bow wire to the front. And since it's pretty thin, I'm not going to use any... Um, you could use floral wire to attach these, but I think I'm just going to use my bow wire since it's already attached. So I'm tying it in a knot at the front of my bow. So I have it tied in the knot. I'm going to take one pine cone and thread my bow wire through it. Just like that. And kind of twist it around once. So it's nice and secure. And I'm going to take my other pine cone and my other end of bow wire and wrap it around there as well. So they're both nice and secure. But, I mean, you can use floral wire if you choose to do so. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot at the back of my bow once again. Just like that. So I still have a nice amount of wire. Now I'm going to attach my bow to my wreath. You can place it in the top, bottom, side, center, wherever you choose. I'm going to place this towards the bottom just because it's so huge and I don't want to cover up my wreath, but I want this to still stand out. Find a good little spot. I think right here is pretty good. I'm just pushing away the deco mesh so that I can at uh, attach my bow wire to the actual ring. And I'm going to use the bow wire that I have still attached to my bow. See, I have the bow wire coming through the bottom and I'm just going to tie it in a knot, a couple of knots make sure it's nice and secure okay and I come back to the front and I just adjust it once more again you can modify the size the color the style whatever you prefer but I just thought this looked so cute and precious <laughs> 